May 20th, 1957, Kent, England. Ground control at Royal Air Force Base Manston picks up an unusual target on radar. The blip on radar had unusual flight patterns. It was doing unconventional things. Two pilots are scrambled into the night. One of the men is Milton Torres, a US Air Force pilot based in the United Kingdom. Torres served as a fighter pilot from 1951 to 1971 and flew 267 missions in Vietnam. Milton Torres' son, Jeffrey, has spent years researching what happened to his father that night. The ground radar told him, climb to a heading of 32,000 feet over East Ipswich. He said, do you want me to go full gate? And I said, go full gate. Full gate is Air Force lingo for full power, just under the speed of sound. It's the Cold War, and Torres is being sent to intercept a potential Soviet spy plane, or worse, a bomber. They had incursions from the Soviet Union into Allied airspace, and that was the whole design of the F-86D as an all-weather fighter to prevent these kind of incursions. Visibility is almost zero. As ground control guides him towards the target, he asks to decrease his speed, but his request is denied. Negative, maintain afterburner to intercept. So now he realizes whatever this thing is, they want him to close in on it fast. It's impossible to see. And they asked him to visually see it, and of course, he's totally in the suit. There, you know, this is England. He said England was constantly fogged in, and this particular time it was just thick as could be. Torres is flying blind, still waiting for the object to appear on his radar when ground control gives an order he has spent years training for. Zulu 1, engage target. I repeat, engage. They told him to fire all of his rockets, all 24 rockets. They wanted him unloading all of them. He was thinking, damn, I could be starting World War III. This is one of the most controversial UFO encounters on record. No government agency to date has released any information on this 1957 event.